Hi everybody, in this series we're going to talk about arrays using PHP. One of the nice things about arrays is that what we're going to learn here, you can actually use this knowledge across multiple different programming languages. While the syntax may be a little different, the overall concept of an array stays the same. Now in this series, we're already assuming that you have some basic PHP knowledge. If you don't, go ahead and check out our series on the basics of PHP. Because in this series, you're going to want to know already what uh, a variable is, uh, how to echo out statements, and, and other general PHP concepts like that. Now in this series, I've chosen to use examples that are a little more relevant. I've noticed that a lot of the documentation on arrays use pretty generic examples. And I feel that sometimes without that relevance, uh, you can kind of get lost. And I know when I was learning what arrays were and things like that, I, I did have, I had trouble because the, the examples didn't really show me a, a good use for something like an array. To illustrate that, you see on line seven, we start an array called topics. And I list out some of the various topics we're going to talk about in this series. Now, some of you may not know what an array is, although if you stumbled across this video, you probably have at least a general idea of what an array is. But for those who don't, I'm going to go ahead and read from the official PHP documentation, which will probably confuse you. Um, an array in PHP is actually an ordered map. Now, again, that makes no sense to me. Um, I mean, it does because I know what an array is, but uh, to lay this out a little bit easier, you can almost think of an array like a variable in PHP, only it's a variable that can hold multiple values and you can retrieve those values by using the key. So in an array, you have these two main parts. You have a key and a value. And if you look at our first example here, starting on line nine, our key is down the left side. So A, B, C, D, etc. those are the keys. And along the right side are the values associated with each key. So topics A is equal to introduction. Topics B is equal to array types, and so on. Now you could use variables to do something similar to this, However, you'll find, you'll find as we continue talking about this how arrays are, are more helpful. Another way to look at arrays is almost like uh, a little mini database that you create on the fly. So if you are familiar with databases and how they work, this, that example might help you out a little bit. So it allows you to store a bunch of data and then retrieve it using keys, which is pretty close to how you do things with databases. And before we get started here, I'll just note what I've done here in this example is simply introduced three different methods for creating an array. In the first example, we're defining the keys ourselves. In the second example, we're going to allow PHP to go ahead and generate the keys for us. And the third example is just a different way to do what you're doing in the first example. And this third example kind of mimics more the method you would use when making variables. 